Welcome everybody to another Let's Play. Today we are doing Day Manacle. This got released today. Um, we've had a few hiccups here. This is my third attempt at doing a video with this. Uh, it is not the game's fault, however. It is my fault. I've had, uh, unfortunately, real life things interrupt. So let's go. And it sucked too, because the last video I was doing actually did really well in. I, uh, this is an interesting game. It's a little simpler than, say, Dead by Daylight. I didn't like Dead by Daylight. Some of you do. I don't like the whole sacrificing hook BS. Uh, too easy to troll the slashers. Um, Jason, Friday the 13th, I liked for a while. It's become kind of a joke, and the company itself has already called it quits with it, so... Real shame. They blame the lawsuit. I'm not buying it. This game I like. It has a simple premise. i uh, played a few matches so far, and I'm going to show it to you. Uh, I think it's fun. You're either the human or the demon. If you're the human, you have to find bones to the skeleton. You bring them to the altar, you plug them into the skeleton, sort of. Not plug them in, but you know, you sit them on the skeleton, and you kind of exercise the demon. Um, you never know which one of you is going to be possessed, so you could... You all started as humans. And then, boom, the next thing you know, one of you is possessed. Now, this is an early alpha, so I'm sure the lobby will display a little better. Uh, it also doesn't normally take this long to find a match, but of course, because I'm doing a Let's Play, it's taking me longer. Um, and you get a, a, a unique mix of people. I've got some nice people, i got some... Uh, actually, everybody's been nice so far. I really haven't had any jerks. There are also ghosts, so if you die in this, instead of just hitting, like, a button to watch the living players, you can literally move through the whole map if you're dead. I think that's a cool thing, actually. So we got four to five players in this match, it looks like. I don't think we're going to hit all five. Um, no, that timer's not accurate. There we go, see? Hello, everybody! Good luck! Good luck to you out there. Am I the only one with the map? Or, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am big master on to our... Press. Very good. Well, you are on YouTube right now, so... Yeah. Oh, what is this? So basically, you will check your hand here, guys, and if you see... Anybody's hand glowing? My hand is not glowing yet. Oh, uh, it's glowing a little now. It's glowing a little. I didn't see anything in here, though. You guys seen anything? I don't know what this thing is, but I can't seem to grab it at all. This little box here. This, if you look at your hand with Q, uh, when it glows, you're getting close to a ritual part. Well, what do you know, guys? I get to be the demon the first time out. Um, this is the second time now I've been a demon in this in this game. Uh -huh. In real life, that's another story. No, I'm kidding. You know, the parental rights group go bat shit on me for that shit. Um, so, basically now, I am after the humans and must lay waste to them before they perform the ritual and kill me. I don't really think they're going to. I'm not gonna lie, I've had a hard time finding ritual pieces in this game. 
It's not that I believe that it's impossible to find them, I've just had a hard time personally. Uh, the demon I like because he is a very simple killer. And the game itself is pretty fun because, you know, there's not, look, there's not much to it. It's a little glitchy here and there, but it is an alpha. I'm sure they'll work that out. But I cannot tell you how thrilling it is to rush through a house and have somebody almost shit their pants when they hear the demon. And I make sure they hear the demon. I, I growl a lot. I carry on. I act a fool. Because when people get scared, they also uh, freak out and usually do dumb shit that helps me. So we're going to do this for now. There's somebody all the way up there. Yeah. I kept thinking that was other players talking, but I think it's just the demon himself. See? I thought that was the, the players at least. Now, I think that may be a ghost. Uh, yes, there are ghosts in this, if I said before. I, however... I'm not sure. It is interesting, however, if the ghost... Oh, it clipped me, didn't it? Oh, what'd I do? Hit the wrong key. I hit the wrong key. Well, that sucks. I screwed up my demon vision. I like the idea of scaring the holy shit out of somebody in this camera and that kind of I think it's fun. So what you do is, as a demon, I will want to go and grab... I get it. I'm going to want to go and grab the people. So I will run through here, grab them. I'm going to have to adjust my lighting a little. I think my lighting's a little wonky. Um, now, there are a few things that need help. For example, in this, uh, I think his door breaking abilities suffer here and there because I don't think they're correct. Um, I don't think they're consistent anyway. I feel like he, he loses something here and there during the door breaking phase. And what happens is, he'll get one door perfect, and then the other door he doesn't do so good. So I don't know if that's on purpose. I don't know what happens. I feel like every time I hear that shit, they're, they're messing with that altar, though. But I don't know. You know, again, I don't... I'm not sure. Um, the flashlights give them away every time, so you want to make sure you're watching for flashlights. But see there, like I'm trying to... Trying to slash and kill shit. I'm not getting it. So what I'm trying to do now is scare them into running somewhere. I am not hearing them. And I'm not seeing flashlights. Okay, so I don't actually think it... Maybe I don't even need to hit a button. Maybe I just... Bum rush these fucking doors and that's how he does. Maybe that's how he rolls as a demon, I don't know. I think maybe that's what it is, honestly, is... If I just run toward the... Get your ass up there. If I just run toward the door, he just fucking wails him. Yahtzee! Demons are not followed by... or bothered by fall damage? No. There will be no doors in my cabins. None. I will say, um, when he does grab people, it's quite satisfying. They're hiding from me, that much I'm sure. Which, smartly, rightfully, rightfully so, they should be hiding from me. Uh, now, coming up this week, there will be player skills and demon skills. So as you progress and get better at this game, it's both your demon, for example, when you are him, will be stronger 
from what I'm understanding. Now, I personally don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't played this game more than a handful of times. I missed the first few beta plays, unfortunately. Uh, and that was due to real life, that's not due to the devs fault or any, any BS like that, that was all me. And what I am doing here is waiting to see you. If I see flashlights anywhere. So we're hauling ass out here. Hey, all down here? Seriously? That is the altar. I can't fuck with the altar. That altar is no good for me, baby. I feel like somebody's hiding in here. No, I, I do love it. It is insanely satisfying, the door smashing sound. That one I like. Uh, Demon Vision is interesting. Not as good as I would have liked. I feel like I should have a better hint as to where they are. Apparently what happens in this game, right, is you get close, and you get close to them, uh, then you have to really find them on your own. You don't get any more hints. Um... Which I guess is fair. Then it becomes a hide and seek, lapse of dapsel kind of thing, you know. I feel like I've been trying too hard. And that just is probably easier than I'm thinking. So here's what we're gonna do we are going to look around, stand up up here and watch. You guys tell me now if you see this. He's a creepy little shit, isn't he? There he is down there. So let's see if we can cut this guy off, okay? I mean, somebody's moving, so... I feel like this little asshole is purposely hanging out near this. But, I do not care. I think I can kill him. What'd I tell ya? Little motherfucker. Where are ya? Where are ya? He tried to get me, but he's out of ammo now. He's over there. So they didn't even leave my area. My original area, they stayed in like dumbasses. Sorry to all of you if you're in this let's play, but come on baby, move a little. Although frankly it's really me that's the dumbass because I should have just known and uh, suspected. Two, I let my demon vision run out right after being shot, which is an amateur move. Um, that you hug me a few good times there, but I'm a demon, baby. That's how I roll. And that's what I mean about the, the demon attack thing. I don't like that. It takes me a minute to go back up there. I feel like part of his splendor should just be a wrecking machine as far as that goes. He is a demon. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot he does, so what he does do, he should be able to do well. He only really got two shticks, killing and breaking doors, so those should be like his bread and butter, you know. His Picasso, his art. It should be the thing that gives him life. I will say I'm quite impressed by how all these humans have hid from me. I do feel like one of these dudes is hiding right near here, though, I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like he has been the entire damn game. 
the other thing about demon uh, controls that sucks, frankly, is that it's all muggy. Look at this. I can't see good. No, I don't want to leave the game. I just know the next time I play, I can figure something out with the, the brightness controls or something, man, because holy shit, is this shit dark. So this one would make a good hiding spot for a human, wouldn't it? They're not up here. Can I break windows? No, we cannot break windows, okay. Just food for thought, just so I know in the future from the demon. Um, being the human is fun too. I actually find so far being the human more fun than the demon. Um, not that the demon's not fun. I feel like if I, like last round, I wasted people, but they're pretty wily this round. So I think they're giving me a better run for my money. Uh, they're pissing me off a little more, frankly. Uh, but I suppose that's good, that's supposed to. That's human survival. And they're probably gonna win. They only have like a minute to go, right? Oh, oh! Going on there, there's a flashlight in the area. Flashlight in the area, where are ya? Pussies to the pavement, ladies. Pussies to the pavement. Where is it? A super bad line. Don't get don't get too upset there, feminists. That's from a movie called Super Bad. Relax. Uh, so if you know it, you'll know what part that is. If you don't, you should really see Super Bad. It's pretty funny. Bill Hader, a, a horribly underrated actor in my opinion. Uh, so no, you can see the basics for a great team-killing gamer here, and it's a lot of fun. So it seems like what happens is during the storm, one of you gets possessed. By the time the storm's done, this thing is about done. And one of these assholes keeps shooting at me, and I'd like to at least kill him, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to win. They win. They win. Good job! I could not figure out where the hell you all were hiding. Where were you hiding? I had no idea. I, I didn't hide, I just ran around the map. I'm hiding in building and runs of the beach. Man, I was like, where in the hell are they? Everywhere I normally looked, uh, I could not find you at all. Good job. Okay, try again. In building and runs. Accidentally cut him off, but I didn't mean to. So sorry, buddy, whoever you are out there. We're going to try it again. Uh, let's see here. What I got going on here? I figure we'll, we'll, try, uh, we'll try a game or two. Yeah. I want to do at least one more of these. Uh, this is a pretty fun game though, man. I gotta say, so far, Demonical. I like it better, I'll say, than uh, Dead by Daylight. That's for sure. I, I like this game better. Um, for one thing, I think when it gets polished, we're gonna need some, see some neat things for weapons and demon skills. Now, Weapons right now, I think you can grab like a board or a gun. So like a stick or a gun. Um, but I'd like to see some stuff, maybe like an axe, you know, like you're camping, so... Stuff you would see when you're camping, a machete, an axe, uh, even just a hammer, you know, would be interesting. Smack the demon upside the head with a hammer. I like the suspense of not knowing who the demon's gonna be. That part is cool. Because, you know, you saw what happened there. I was I was getting along with everybody else like we were all playing together and then boom. Then the demon happens. Uh, so you never know. And I, I like that element. I like that element of added danger. You're not sure who the demon's going to be. I think that adds something to this game uh, that I haven't seen before. Um... 
Demon powers, I think. I'm excited about seeing what those are. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to you. Hello. Good luck, everybody. Now, can we only find the ritual parts at night? Because I'm guessing that's what's happening. Or have uh, you all found them during the day? I know what he's answering, of course. Hey! Oh, nice, nice. So I think we can only grab them at night. So camp this spot, you guys, and then get this shit back there when we can. Oh, somebody grabbed it. All right. All right, good job. Which one of us grabbed it so we know? You grabbed it? All right. It's actually tw twice now I've been the demon, um, which is exciting, because I normally do not get to uh, be the bad guy in a lot of these. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, I'm not even slated as the demon normally. I just had good luck with this, I think, and on uh, lots of servers. Uh, I've played this about seven or eight times now. Twice out of the seven or eight, I've been the demon. I like that too because it shows me that a fair number of people get to be the demon and you get to go back and forth. I feel like somebody's under there. But we're going to haul ass around this area. Let's not get too far off from the obvious. Last time I went on a few wild goose chases and I did not like that. So this time I'm going to try and make this obvious. We're going to go ways I think the humans will go. And I'm betting I will find them quicker that way. What do you guys say? Eh? Now that one lady clearly is going to hook me a little by giving a piece of the sacrificial table, and that sucks. But I think that's what that noise is. It's when they get that. It's a sacrificial piece. But she's got to get the rest of them. And guess who's in here? It's your boy! Well, apparently there's another YouTuber who says that same, so... Sorry, buddy. I'm not trying to copyright you or anything. It just sounded funny. I think I saw one of his videos. He did like some survive on vending machine for 24 hours. Survive on vending machine food for 24 hours it was. Uh, personally, I don't call that a challenge. I call that something I had to do when I was homeless. So, it don't impress me much. No offense, bud. Yeah, I, don't, I don't find that to be a challenge. I find that to be a necessity for some people and that's a reality. Sad but true. Uh, actually, if you are somebody who has thought of giving money to the homeless but are worried they're going to buy drugs, uh, my honest advice to you really are to get them practical things they can use. So a backpack, a fleece blanket, a water bottle, like a reusable water bottle, and honestly, a can opener. Yes. And at the dollar store, too, you can get, like, a spoon and fork and even just a butter knife. Those things are invaluable. You want to really go the extra distance, get them a notebook, 
some pens, uh, a few bars of soap, a toothbrush, toothpaste, and you will have spent maybe about 10 bucks of your own money, but what you give to a homeless person will be invaluable, what have you hoped? That's true. Anyways, back to this. Survival Skills 101, you can also open a can if you ever need to open a can of food. Uh, I had to learn this from another dude who is homeless, is that you can rub the can all over the ground and do it that way. Now look at that. I would have missed that person. So clearly I need to adjust my graphic settings and, and fix something. Um, Maybe not. I feel like maybe that's a point of demon's side, is it, it shows them more clearly. They didn't even have their flashlight on, I don't think, so that's why I missed them. Some, uh, the other guy in the last game told me to keep checking the beach and the beach area, so we're going to make a point to do that shit. I feel like that is good advice. That's what these little shits are doing, is trying to avoid me on the beach. Not if I can help it. And the hot stepper, sons of bitches. Um, I do want to thank all of you, by the way, in our channel. I really appreciate all of the support we have gotten. Uh, I really enjoy doing videos for you guys, and although sometimes they've been goofy and we had a rough start, let's be honest, our early videos sucked ass, I know it. But we tried, you know. There was a lot more puppet back then. The reason there hasn't been as much puppet is because we're saving them for a few special things. There are going to be more story time with grown-ups as requested. Uh, we're probably going to shoot two back-to-back -back with him on those. He has two he would like to do for you. And I think you're going to like the ones he does. Um, because they're pretty damn good. He wants to do um, Yahtzee. He wants to do Boom. Oh my god, so spooky. Say hello to YouTube, everybody. So we did it. Let me take, uh, take a look here. I think I got time for one more. Let's take a look and we'll see. Yeah, I think we got one more. What do you guys say? Um, we got one more. We'll do one more. Why not? Fun little game. Now I put it on random, so if I end up demon again, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, that was fast, eh? Hello, my friend. Kiki, Kiki, who can I turn to? I don't know if Kiki knows pop music. If not, they're going to wonder what the fuck's wrong with me. Useless there. Let us find the bones and quickly before it gets dark. I feel like there's going to be some extra stuff in here, like items to help. Maybe help meters would be cool. Now, this is the area itself that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so it's kind of cool, man. I have like a whole little spiel with this here. I dig the way they set that up, where it looks ritualistic and authentic. 
Well, Kiki is certainly torquey this way, I think. Um, ooh, ooh, what's that? Oh, that's just a... Okay, so we're gonna start with this branch. Oh, shit. It's getting dark already. Now, if I am the demon, this is good. If I'm not the demon, this is going to be very bad. If I am the demon, I'm frankly gonna laugh. I'm hoping I'm not the demon this time, because I would like to show you all the human side of things, but I don't think I'm the demon. I think by now it's dark enough for if I was the demon, I would know. I think by now the demon is already picked. So, that means my ass just has to stay alive until dawn. Or we can complete the ritual. And I'm not seeing any ritual bones around here anywhere, and I really don't think the demon is going to check all the way at the top of this. I might be wrong. I don't really want to camp out for 12 effing minutes, frankly. We are going to be strategic, guys. We're going to look around. Can I peek in this? No. So your hand is this. There is the altar. The altar is visible from the sky. I also like that. It's a piece this way. But do I feel like being the hero? Because that demon is no effing joke. Wouldn't it suck if the entire time I'm like was on and I didn't know it? That would not be good. Uh, let's look, and we have a shut door that gives me crack. Dude, I do not like. I think this is a really effective thing these here because I think they move, um, and that's creepy as shit. Uh, there's a great little game I'm gonna have to do sometime for you guys. Uh, as well. Kind of based on paranormal activity. And I've said before many times those movies didn't scare me, which they didn't. Uh, I just, I personally don't find anything spooky about moving furniture. That's just me. But, not trying to just them there, just being honest. But, I will say I feel like there are... Game-wise, it's scarier. Do you know what I mean? Like, something can not be scary in a movie, but in a video game, because you have a life meter you have more invested, the same shtick can work. So I think that is something to consider. Um, that's to all you developers out there who aren't sure what's scary and what's not. Let me tell you, randomly moving shit scary. In movies, if you're gonna make randomly moving shit, make it look evil. Don't don't just give me like, ooh, this chair scooched across the floor. I don't... You know where I saw that? Fucking Poltergeist. Alright, uh, that first paranormal activity movie did nothing for me. Um, now maybe I'm the minority there with that, I don't know, you guys feel that way too or no? Am I the only one that's was kind of underwhelmed by them? I just remember everybody telling me how freaky they were and then I ended up going through and playing them and was like, when does it get scary? You know, what's, it, that didn't scare you? And I'm like, uh, no. You know, and I wasn't trying to be like a hard ass, it was just like, dude. A table, like, moved half an inch. I know! And I'm like, well, let's calm it down a little. And see, this is what I mean. I can't grab this yet, so I'm sure it's down the road. It's going to be a placeholder for something usable. 
I don't know what. Can I? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. He got me, man. Now, let me show you the other cool part, right? Oh, the camera's all screwy. Okay, there we go. Good to know. Camera glitch, camera glitch, camera glitch, camera glitch. But you can see this here, this tadpole looking thing. That is me. That is me. So I am going to go and explore. And you can explore the whole map like this. So instead of just being a dead spirit, you can kind of watch the game in real time and find people and see what they're doing. So we're going to see if we can find other survivors. Um, and again, this is very early alpha, guys. So, and the developers, uh, the developers, the developers are very adamant about sharing that so that you know that these are things they are working on fixing. And I appreciate that. Um, having transparency with developers is good because it lets me know that they're serious about what they're working on. Now, I don't know how... One guy did this where he got in there like he opened it, but I, I cannot... I can't get it open. I'm like Casper the, the learning ghost. Oh, see? So there's a thing there. Look at there's another... <laughs> there's another ghost following it. Uh, this thing has been working out. He's a little ripped, isn't he? Thank you, weird monster, for letting us in. I don't know if the monster can see them. I I don't recall whether or not I was seeing these or just flashlights. I, I know when you're a human, I believe you can see these. Um, so usually what I've noticed ghosts do is hang around him almost to give his position away. So humans can see him quicker. I feel like it's a way to kind of do an F you to, to, uh, oh shit, it's on now. No, what, did I miss it? Yeah, I think, I think he got the human, I don't know. I don't know though. There's a human, there's a human, alright, the human got him. Good, good job, human. Sorry, human, I know you think I know something, but, uh, I don't know shit. We are gonna try and go here and see if I can get something for you. I don't know. I feel like this would be a good way to lead the humans to things. Um, which I think is entirely within the spirit element here. I really do dig. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is great because, say I found a part... And I could get a human to pay attention to me. I could technically lead them to it, thus avenging my own death and helping the humans win. It would be very satisfying. Um, so developers, just take note of that. I don't know if there's like it'd be good if maybe I could blink as a spirit. You know what I mean? I don't know Morse code or anything, but I could make something up, like, blink a few times here and there, just to get their, get their attention. Um, now, after this level, this will call it for this game. This game is, uh, Daemonical. Uh, it was released today, so be one of the first to get it. Open up. Tell your friends about it. Oh no! Oh, they go for a walk. You want to drink water? Do you like water? Do you like water? Okay. I hope you like water. Almost got away. Did they get away? No. Ah, oh, that was brutal. Brutal. Let's 
to the team and did a little dance and then just outed. He was done. So anyways, that is Game Medical. I am bones. Oh, goodness me. So much to do today, guys. Um, if you like this game, the description, of course, as always, is going to be, you know how I do, baby. So make sure you guys liked it. I'm actually going to screenshot this one. Um, just because I think it's newer than the screenshot I just took. I took one earlier before the game was officially out. The game is officially out now, so... Get the game, play with your friends. Um, I, I like it, personally. I think it's fun. You can even, like, uh, customize your little person some. I'm sure they're going to do more with that. And uh, these are people you can invite from your own Steam friends list. There's a Discord that's free to join that's very friendly. And yeah, so there you have it. So subscribe to us if you haven't. Give us a like. Uh, you know what? Keep I keep asking you all. Share with me some of your scary movies, your favorite scary movies in the comments. Drop them below. Give me some suggestions on new stuff to watch. What are your favorite scary movies, either classic or modern? Uh, Get Out I like quite a bit. Don't Breathe was filmed here in Detroit, so I was a fan of that one. Um, that was not a bad one. Uh, Get Out I think was deceptively smart. Uh, let's see, I haven't seen that. Uh, Hush was pretty good actually. I haven't seen the one about... Um, uh, your next actually had a really badass person in it. I don't want to give anything away and say spoilers, but I will say that was a very gory movie that did great with the gore, so I recommend that one. Anyways, anyways, sorry, I'm going to keep going here. Anyways, I am out. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.